All right. The National Association of Graduate Teachers have had several issues in recent times from salaries um, to lack of infrastructure and then transfers. And this afternoon we have in the studio the vice president of the association, that is NAGRAT, Mr. Eric Angel Carbono, that's vice president of NAGRAT. Hello, sir. You're welcome Thank to the studios. Much. All right. What is this issue about transfer of teachers without consultation? Yes. Uh, uh, we, according to the GES, having re uh, reverted to three years senior high school, uh, we have teachers in schools, according to them, who are redundant and that they will need to redeploy those teachers uh, to other places where they are needed. Uh, Unknown to us, uh, unions, the GES has not even engaged us in any discussion. They have not even given guidelines that uh, will superintend this uh, 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 program. Downline authorities are engaged in the program by any means they feel uh, they deem fit. And the program is subject to abuse because there are no guidelines. Secondly, the issue of transfer grants. If you move according to our, our conditions of service, section 18.12, if I may read it just a, a, a second, a transfer grant of two months gross, a gross salary shall be paid to each member on approved transfer. An employee shall be paid a transfer grant at the appropriate rate where the transfer is at the instance of management, provided it is not on punitive grounds. So this, is, this, this uh, redeployment or transfer, as one would call it, is not on punitive ground. It is a, a, it's as a result of reverting to three years senior high school. The GES is not even indicated whether it is capable or willing to pay transfer grant. And the number of teachers involved are so enormous, you cannot imagine, because it, it, it affects the whole nation. So we are calling on the Ghana Education Service that a huge program like this, a sensitive program like this, needs consultation. Because when you move someone's family from Dansoman and you send the person to Osudoku, the person will have to move property. Have you, have you thought of how that person is going to move from Dansoman to Osudoku? How that person is going to get him or herself accommodated in Osudoku when he gets there? So when you subject teachers to such inhumane treatment, what type of performance do you expect from but them? But have you initiated any discussions? Interestingly, we wrote a letter to the Ghana Education Service for a meeting. When we met them, they indicated to us that they, they are not even aware that heads of institution or district directors or regional directors are transferring people and that they are at the stage of gathering information. They've not got into the second stage of asking people to move from A to B or C location. But the reports we are getting nationwide, even women who are on preg uh, uh, maternity leave were deemed to be absent from schools, hence they were uh, supposed to be redeployed. I mean, because they did not come up with guidelines, we are having such situations on the ground. And you have issues also with the incremental credit? Yes, for the incremental credit, we have been at this since the beginning of the year. On the 6th of September, we held a press conference indicating that up, as, as I speak to you, they have not paid areas of the incremental credit for 2011. They've not paid areas of the incremental credit for 2012. As I speak to you, teachers are the only group of workers who have not collected car maintenance allowance for 2012 and uh, 2013. People who have been promoted have not been put on their proper ranks and given their commensurate salaries as we speak. As we speak, we raise the issue of WIAC invigilation. As I speak to you, the GES has not come a broad closure to the issue of WIAC invigilation. Come next year, another examination is going to come up and then there will be another trouble. So we have litany of issues that the authorities that be just simply do not see as necessary to solve. What do you intend to do about the problem? No, as, as NAGRAT, we want to assure all our members that we are on top of the issue. As trade union, we raise the issues. We will use all legitimate and appropriate means to ensure that what is due to get the Ghanaian teacher comes to the Ghanaian teacher. And no legal measure is too much for us to employ. That we will want to assure our members. Let, let me find out for me, within what period are they expected to move out of the the Great Accra region, for instance. Well, th that is what I was talking about. They don't, you see, they have not given guidelines. They have not given the modalities 
we don't know what time frame we're talking about a program that took more than four years to run how do you redeploy people within a tech they have not given that uh, time we would have expected the Ghana education service to have informed government that looking at the normality of the exercise that is going to take place we will need this to do that at time we will need this amount of money to be able to pay people transfer grant to ensure that the exercise goes on successfully what they are doing is that they are trying to play on the ignorance of the teacher and then to co uh, uh, more or less to coerce the teacher intimidate the teacher threaten him that if he does not go he will, he will lose his job for the teacher to come uh, to be compelled uh, to move to places that they are uh, redeploying the teacher to and we are saying this is absolutely unacceptable so once the postings are done what, what, what would you do what so we, 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 we have served notice and indicated to the ghana education service that if it wants to do right by the Ghanaian teacher, it should hold the exercise for now, have a broad consultation with stakeholders, let us come up with guidelines and modalities, and let's also agree at the uh, time frame that this exercise ought to start and get completed. We've indicated that to the GES. Anything short of this, we will take it as a blatant violation of the rights and liberties of our members, and we'll also use every legit legitimate means to resist it. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Eric Kabun. We wish you well. Thank you very in much. Your dealing.